how to use the new Microsoft Planner in Teams step-by-step. -step. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can use the new Microsoft Planner in Teams. Now we all are using Teams for online meetings and consultations, but it's really something that a lot of people overlook is that you can use your planner directly in Teams and this actually boosts your productivity so much. You're able to take down notes, you're able to do so much more directly within Teams. So let's get started. Now to get started with using our planner in our actual Teams app, we're going to go ahead and open up Microsoft 365 and I'm going to open up my Teams. And once we open up our Teams over here, we can proceed with our next step. Now, just like this, we have opened up Teams over here. And once we open up Teams, this is what your interface on Teams is going to look like. This is the most recent version of Teams available. Now, once you have logged on to your Microsoft account and opened up your Teams account, you're gonna click on the left and you can view more apps. However, you're not going to find the planner app here if you haven't installed it in Teams. So just click on apps over here. And once you do that, you can search for planner. And once you search for planner, you will see the Microsoft planner application. So just click on add and then click on add over here. And once you click on add once more, it will be present on the left. Now you can do a right click here and then click on pin. And once you click on pin, you're able to have this end workflow or just have the planner application be pinned. This allows you to easily access the application. Now on the top, you have your my day section, my tasks section, and then my plans section. So we have a bunch of different plans we have created in the past. And you guys can see all of these are shared, you know, either they're only you or they are shared. Now we can get started by creating our plans over here. So let's say we're taking a meeting on Teams. I can go into my plans here, click on new plan, and then I have a few different options. It could be a simple plan, a project manager, a software development plan, a business plan, or employee onboarding. So I will say, let's say this is a simple plan or with a project management plan, you have different fields like initiation, execution, and negotiation. We're going to go with a simple plan, and this is going to be my personal productivity. And after that, I can add this to my pinned plans and I can even link a particular Microsoft group to this. Now, what I'm going to do is now I can directly take meetings and start jolting down within my actual planner section. So I wouldn't have to open up the planner application later and then go through everything later. Instead, I have different statuses. So backlog up next, in progress, and then blocked, completed, so on. So firstly, I'm going to delete the sample task. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to maybe alter the field. So let's say my buckets also include things like um, blocked. And okay, it already has blocked. So instead of backlog, I want to have a section in my planner where it is for miscellaneous stuff, which may or may not be completed. So it's not necessary for me to get started on it. So I can just name it as miscellaneous. And instead of just having it as backlog, I would just have this as uh, tasks. And then in the up next one, I think instead of up next, I want to directly have the status of in progress. So we're going to click on the up next column or the up next bucket, and then we're going to click on delete. Once we do this, we have our really nice little planner. Now from here, I can get started by adding a task and I can add the task name. For example, I am working in Microsoft and we're going through a meeting and we have decided to um, build a plan to restructure the employee cafe. So it is going to be to restructure employee cafe. And then I can set a due date for this tasks and I can also assign this. Obviously, I'm going to assign this to myself. And then once I've created this, I'm just going to click on add task. Now, within every task, if you click on it, you can add more information. You can add the progress as well as the priority. You can add a start date and whether or not it is repetitive. You can also add a checklist of items. So this includes actionable items. For example, I have to find new snack vendor for the restructuring of the cafe. I have to maybe find a 
new coffee shop vendor i have to maybe buy new or contract new chairs or something like that so you can build actionable items from a checklist and this makes it easier for you to work on your tasks on your planner and you're easily able to mark down action items from your teams so oftentimes when you are working in a team meeting you have actionable items that are being said during the meeting, but later on, you might just think of the overall task while you're forgetting the simple or individual points that you're going to have to then think of yourself. So you can have those added directly within checklists and you can check each individual checklist item. And once you check out all the items, you can check out the task as well. Once you check out a task, it is directly moved into a section where it's removed or the part for completed tasks, you can see on the top right, you can filter them out, but completed tasks are often hidden. So in this particular board that we've created, we have a label for in progress as well as completed tasks. And instead of marking it as completed over there, you can drag and drop a task as completed, which is going to serve as a visual reminder of what has been done and what has not been done. Now on the top, you even have a grid view that you can view your tasks in and you even have a schedule. So you can assign different tasks on different schedules. You can also just add any type of task name here and assign it for this particular date. So if you are viewing the calendar on Teams, you're able to fully use it like you normally would on any other calendar application. So direct task addition can be done here. You can even search for tasks and drag them here if they do not have their own due dates already. You will see on the right you have a tab for unscheduled tasks and this will display all of those tasks that are still unscheduled within your planner so you can drag and drop them onto certain dates and that is how you can use the amazing microsoft planner directly on teams not only that but you can manage your day by going into your my day section which allows you to see everything that you have scheduled for the day and your my task section allows you to keep up with everything you have to do and everything that is assigned to you within your particular planner. Now you can click on new planner and build more complicated planners depending on the level of complexity of your teams and of your actual organization. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to get started with using the new Microsoft planner on Teams. If you did find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.